Hi guys, I hope everybody's well. Um, happy Women's Day, happy Women's Day. Thank you to all my subscribers, all my subscribers, um, to all that are going to subscribe after this video. Thank you very much, I love you guys. Uh, so today's topic is about Women's Day. Uh, yes, so Women's Day is celebrated on the 9th of August each and every year in commemoration of the women of 1956, right? These women marched to the union buildings in Pretoria and they did so because they wanted to amend the past law that was a part of the Urban Area Act of 1950, right? During the apartheid regime. Not one, not two, 20,000 women marched to the union buildings in 1956 because they had one problem that they wanted to resolve that affected them so much so that they saw her they must go bali 20 and that is something that we can learn from these women instead of just always just celebrating we must also have a moment where we look at them and we try and learn from what they have done you know as as women of 2020 we have so many issues that affect us deeply we have inequality um in job and in our jobs and our careers and so forth you know we're constantly fighting in our careers to be respected to be given what is rightfully ours we have patriarchal issues we have gender-based violence we have rape cases Gore the list is so long of things that we need to conquer and achieve and we don't seem to have the capability to unite in all of those problems and try and resolve them because of our differences sometimes the mentor no now nah, I will not go much little mang mang. You know, I will not do this little mang mang because of these small indifferences that are there within the community of women. And we cannot oversee those because we're trying so hard not to be around certain women. You know, I prefer being around men. But when you're around men, you're not addressing issues that are of women, you know, that affect you as a woman. Yes, you prefer their company as men. However, there's so many things that you should be conquering as a gender that we run away from it all because of drama that could possibly happen. But we still have the same problems that affect us on a daily Despite of your career field, despite of your race, despite of your cultural background, despite of your religion, we have the same problems. And all we need to do as women is unite and try and conquer all of these problems that we have. You know, all of these challenges we have, we can only overcome if we come together and ensure that we are one voice that is heard as one voice, you know, it's kabali voice, it's a million because Mang Mang wants to be the right one. Maria, I moved these women. We have the same issues, same problems. Let's not detach ourselves from all of these issues we have simply because they might not affect us as much as we think they do. Because sometimes it doesn't affect you can't it affects you so much so so yeah in as much as we're celebrating all that we have achieved all that we have conquered as women get out of like in the parliament itself there's been a 46 percent increment of women in the government and political seatings right that is a great achievement that is you like it, it is amazing to see that there are women that are in managerial positions there are women that are working in fields that didn't allow for women to work in i mean there are women that are geologists that are my that are working in mines construction and those are things that could not be done back then you know and we have defied those odds we have actually 
overcome those challenges. However, there are still these issues and we still need to address them. There's still a fight within us that we still have to go through. So God, this Women's Day, think about the position that you're in. Think about what you could change because it is pointless to be somewhere, see a problem and just be silent about it and act like you don't see it. Turn a blind eye. You're positioned wherever you're positioned as a woman to play a particular role in your company, in your community, in your marriage, in your family, in your church, anywhere and everywhere you should leave a mark because we're made for greatness. I mean, as women, we birth a nation, we nurture a nation, we make a nation and we are a nation. So let us not take our power from ourselves all in the name of we are afraid. You know, we cannot be afraid of what is rightfully ours, what we could claim as ours, the possibility of us being greater than what we are right now. And that simply means we should just look at our problems that we have, face them head on, but not alone as a unit like the women of 1956. And I mean, now with social media, bear in mind, these women did not have any social media back then. Hey, but Now that's not social media. Now we can tweet Facebook, YouTube, where but somebody we can ensure that we make our voices heard. And tweeting and Facebooking and what what about these problems on a social media platform is not the same as us uniting and hearing out where these problems lie. Let's have platforms where women can talk to women about women problems let's let's detach from this norm of saying now nah, i cannot chill with other women because by era one two three one two three those other women need you as a woman to guide you we have the same problems despite our age despite our race like let's not say or oh, these are black problem black woman problems these are white woman problems we all have the same problems and let's not try and minimize other people's problems because of their background, because of where they come from, because of what they seemingly have achieved, because there's still problems out there that we need to conquer. And we can do it, guys. We can really do it. Um, so I really hope you have yourselves a wonderful Women's Day. I hope you enjoy it. I hope... You take the time to reflect, Hore, what are you doing about these societal issues that take place, that affect you as a woman, and how are you going to change them? Let us not just sit down and expect the text that's a happy Women's Day, happy Women's Day, happy Women's Day. However, we're not fighting these battles head on. And I'm not saying there's nothing being done. There is a lot that's being done, but it's still there. Problems are still there. We're still facing these challenges, which means it has not been effectively done. We have not effectively fought our battles. So, yeah, uh, let's too magic, guys, and I, I feel so strongly about this. I will post another video about issues that we face as women and how we contribute towards them as well. Uh, yeah, because it's Women's Month, I think... That's my next video. If you're interested in me talking about that, please do comment. And yeah, enjoy yourselves. I love you so deeply. I love you so deeply. Kyalagata. You're queens. You're amazing. You are everything and anything that you want to be. You can be in any and every position that you see yourself in. You are not defined by your background. You're not defined by what you've done in your past where your family has been, you're not defined by poverty or where you've started. You are defined by what's within you. And that is what is very important. We play a very huge role in people's lives as women. So let's continue to do so. I love you guys. Mwah. Don't forget to subscribe.